we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C Sharp with lesson number 11. In this video, we're going to learn about assigning flags in 10 minutes or less. So we have our flags here, and we, we saw how to at least see what a flag's value was, but it didn't get us any further than before. We want to be able to say that, you know, system permissions and say um, Tim's permissions equals and have two values, right? So I want to have both uh, SQL and Redis. Well, how do I do that? Well, now that we're dealing with flags in the in binary, essentially, um, we can use the or. So the single pipe and then say system permissions dot and let's do Redis. So now if we look at my permissions, let's do a console right line. We're going to say uh, convert. Let's actually do our string interpolation here. Um, convert. Wow, I have to put inside create braces. Um, convert to binary. And we're going to say this is an int. And we're going to say uh, Tim's permissions. And we'll put colon Tim's permissions. OK. And if we look at this now, what we're going to see is that Tim's permissions, I have two different permissions, one at position three and one at position one. So I have permission for SQL. That's the one right here. And this one right here is Redis. So with one number, with one integer, I have now displayed that I have two different permissions. But it gets even better than that because we want to assign more permissions, not a problem. So Tim's permissions, I can say, you know how we can say plus equal to add two numbers together? We can say the or, the single pipe, equal. Or equal. And then we can say system permission dot, let's give you the build system. Uh, we'll I'll have access to that as well. Now, if we run this again, we'll see that I have SQL, I have Redis, and I have the build system. So with, again, one number, it now represents my permissions for what, eight different or six different things? Or what is five? Uh, SQL web server, Redis, no, six. SQL web server, Redis, Azure, GitHub, and the build system. So that represents all of my permissions. So that's kind of cool. Like that, that shows me everything that shows me everything in one value. And because we're using binary and these bit flags, I'm able to add more permissions. I could, you know, add another thing down here and it's just the next spot over. And the only thing we're getting in trouble with is if we decide to have more than 32 flags, because remember we're storing us in int 32. Well, then it's going to have um, only 32 bits which we can change it to a long and, and have 64 or even more. Um, but just know that if you get into more than 32 permissions or 32 flags, you might want to think about two values, you know, and have two different things because maybe you're trying to crunch too many things into one system. But that's how we would use flags and how we could say, you know, essentially three different enum values apply to Tim's permissions. So, in my model, where I have you know first name, last name, email address, I could have permissions, and it would be you know I could have all of these if I wanted to, or I could have access to everything, all six things, and it'd be six ones in a row because I have access to everything, or I could have everything but uh, the web server, and I could have you know four ones, a zero, and then a one, um, and so with one value, I store all that information, which also means that when I store this value in the database. I'm not storing, in this case, six different flags that are yes or no. I don't have six different bits in SQL or six different Booleans in my C Sharp. I have one value that represents the six different things. So in SQL, I have one column called permissions, and it's got a number in there. And that number is, well, let's just figure out what my number is. Um, let's copy this and paste this. And we'll just um, take off the convert to binary. Um, and so in SQL, it says 37 and 37 represents these things that I have access to. 
And so we can take 37, that number, and convert it right back to saying, I have access to SQL, to Redis, and to the build system. So that's how we use flags and how we use binary um, to have, create a really powerful, really efficient system where we don't have to have tons of variables in order to represent these various states or various um, uh, Boolean values. We can have one and just kind of combine them all together. Okay, so that's how to assign flags using uh, the, the the various Boolean operators. Now, next up, what we're going to talk about is how to remove flags. So I have permissions here, but how do I remove some permissions? We don't want to have access to everything anymore. 